Hey guys, this is Bruce doing the free video for Simpler Options for Tuesday night, October 27th. Um, we had another chop fest today in the market with, um, started out lower and of course all day long. We um, bounced around, this is after hours, it's about uh, 4.30 my time. Um, not a lot going on, of course we are getting ready to uh, hear what the Fed has to say tomorrow. So um, I've been lightening up on positions, trying to flatten out deltas, kind of get as neutral as I possibly can ahead of this. Normally I don't do that so much, um, but with the Fed, but this Fed meeting in particular will be, um, could be a big market moving event. Now I don't know if it will be. Um, obviously a lot's going to depend on the language. At this point, no one expects the Fed to raise interest rates. Um, there's actually about a 12% chance factored in that they might. I don't see that happening. The economy is too weak. Um, of course, the other side of that coin is um, whenever you have everyone uh, thinking the same thing, the vast consensus is that Fed's not going to do anything. They're going to have a dovish tone. You know, everything's going to be great and the market's going to rip higher, right? Well, whenever you have a, a vast majority of consensus like that, it always makes me a little nervous that we might get a surprise. Um, and it could be in the, in the form of language of, of how they present, you know, um, whatever they're gonna say. But um, I don't think we get a right rate hike. So um, the point of it is that if you, you still have time, this is Tuesday night, mo uh, Wednesday morning, um, before the actual Fed announcement. If you have positions that you're concerned about, if you have something, uh, trades that are at profits or things like that, you might want to consider lightening up, take a few contracts off, you know, maybe flatten your deltas, do that kind of thing, because we could get a, you know, a big um, move in either direction. Um, I'm trying to prepare for the up and down, and, and hopefully it's because everybody is kind of think, thinking the same thing, maybe we don't have much reaction at all. Um, but again, it will depend all on the language of the Fed. So, um, you know, there's not a lot to go over tonight as far as setups or things like that. I did want to mention, um, this is after hours, um, Apple reported today. It is for you guys that were in the room with me today. Um, it's at 114.90 for you guys that were in the room with me today. If you took my Apple butterfly here we're almost dead centered on our iron iron fly we did the 115 120 115 110 for four dollars and ten cent credit on a now I did five contracts it's a twenty five hundred dollar margin so um, that has been a really really good setup I hope, hope you guys were able to take that um, I did a setup also in Gilead this was the setup here, the one that I uh, preferred, and so far, I, and I actually did not, I did not get filled on this. I had it in, and I was doing other things and doing other trades, and I did not get filled. Um, we looked at this; it just, it doesn't look like it's gonna. Well, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't say it's not gonna work. Um, Gilead had um, upbeat quarter and lifts outlook. So it should be much, much higher, but it's not for some reason. And I haven't read the um, conference call or anything yet that because I did not get filled in the trade. But it should, this trade should still work. But other than that, uh, we had uh, Panera after hours. Um, oh, Twitter. Twitter had a big miss. Um, down pretty big. And I didn't do anything in the Twitter or... Panera. We've got a lot other of others. Um, yeah, we're down at 27 here in Twitter. A lot of earnings coming out in the morning. Um, obviously, too late to get into those. But uh, again, you know what you need to focus on is prior to this meeting, two o'clock Eastern tomorrow. If you have things that uh, you're concerned about, I would suggest lightening up. You know, taking taking profit off or or cutting you know cutting down some size or things like that. Uh, for the potential of any kind of big move. So hope that helps you guys. Again, this is Bruce for Simpler Options free video, and um, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. 
Hey guys, this is Bruce with Simpler Options. You know, people always ask me, how do I improve my trading? And as far as options trading goes, the number one way to improve your trading skills are understanding the Greeks. Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and how they work and what they mean to your positions and how they change as the price and volatility changes with your position. This will help you more than anything. And I get this question a lot. You know, what do I do? What do I do? Well, the, the more you learn about the Greeks, the better trader you will become regardless of your trading style. So, I put together a simple ebook, Greeks 101. Would love for you guys to get this. It's free. All you have to do is go to our site and click on this Greeks 101 ebook. Put your name, email in. You'll get a copy of this. This is a great place to start. It will give you at least um, the if you don't know anything about the Greeks, it'll give you a great start as far as a foundation. Um, even if you do know about the Greeks, it should help you. So uh, check out our ebook there. It will help you. If you have any questions, let us know. We are here to help. Thanks.